Hey everyone, welcome back to the NASCAR Thunder 2003 PS1 Let's Play. Ladies and gentlemen, right now about to do race 21 of 41. I'm here at New Hampshire Motor Speedway in Loudoun, New Hampshire for the running of the New England 300. So, one mile racetrack, 30 laps, two pit stops required in this race. Uh, last race with that Chicagoland Speedway in the final few laps was pretty interesting. However, I held off for the win, got my eighth win of the Let's Play. Uh, for this race in New Hampshire, I start on the pole for this race. So I've been uh, racking up the poles lately. Doing pretty well with that. Uh, this is my seventh pole of the Let's Play so far. Um, I'm not sure about this race, though. Really don't know what to expect. I don't know if either I'm going to do good or bad here. Um, I mean, the last time I was at a flat racetrack, technically, was at Martinsville. And, um, and kind of... Almost the same configuration as that, except this a little bigger. And I won that race, too. Uh, but we'll see what happens here in New Hampshire. Don't know what to expect. So let's just get this race here in New Hampshire Motor Speedway underway. Three, two, one, go. Green, green, green. Oh my goodness, Michael Waltrip. <laughs> I was going pretty much faster than him. I messed up the first corner on the first lap. Michael Waltrip leads the first lap. Oh my god, it's very tight. Just got into Bill Elliott. But look at that. Look at the run I could get on Michael Waltrip. I'm on the inside of him. And I do take the race lead. Oh, may maybe though. Oh my goodness gracious. I was very close, but I do lead this lap to get the five bonus points. Oh my god. Car. I'm in the wall. Son of a... Ugh! I didn't think I was going to hit. I thought it was fine. Wow, look at this run I get on him. My goodness, down to the bottom of the race. We're side by side for the lead. Three laps completed, and I'm on the bottom. Michael Waltrip up high. Oh, my God, I got sideways. But it looks like I'm going to get by him for the race lead. So good battle between me and Michael Waltrip right now. Michael Waltrip on the inside of me again. It just seems like I can't get through turn one and two really well. Mostly it's my entry. <laughs> Jeff Gorham running in the third spot. Good lap. Keep hitting those marks. Yeah, I just can't get through this corner really well. Michael Waltrip on the inside of me again. Nope. Clear him off the corner. Just looking back every now and then to make sure I'm in the I'm clear. Good lap. Oh damn! God, what's with that car? What the? I'm... I didn't come down, Gordon. God, I just can't get through that corner well. I seem to do fine here. But for a reason, one and two, I just cannot. Fuel's down to hand. Halfway on fuel now. Oh my God. See, I just go up the track. I don't know why. So Michael Waltrip now leading at the moment. 
I get straight line speed. Oh, damn it. I'm sorry, Jeff. That's not one way to get around somebody. Oh my god, look at the run I get. Oh man. Oh, oh man, I really had to hit the brakes. Got in the Michael Waltrip there, and now Jeff Gorn going for the second spot. But to be fair, Michael Waltrip was not giving me enough room either. I mean, I was on the inside of him even down the straightaway, and he should have known I was there. Oh my god, I just cannot get through the corner well. Jeff going under. Yep, he is. Oh! He came up on me again. Ten laps completed now here in New Hampshire. Jeff Gorn's going to lead that Way lap. Go. So, got 20 laps to go. And I can't hold the bottom again. Oh, Jeff! Jeff slides up too. And Michael Waltrip's going to get around the both of us. Careful, you're getting low on fuel. I didn't expect Jeff Gorn to mess up the corner either. My goodness. I'm going to pit this time by, by the way. It's time for the pit stops. All right, looks like Jeff Gordon staying out right now, but Michael Waltrip and I and a few others coming down pit road as well. So four tires, full tank fuel on the first pit stop, and we'll be back out in the way. So, uh, Mike Waltrip's gonna come out of this as race lead, but I'm gaining on him quickly. Here I come for the race lead. Oh, but I'm not gonna have a good entry. Not gonna have a good entry. Give me some room, dude. Oh my gosh. Okay. He just doesn't give me any room going into the corners. Come on, she's probably not gonna give me the room here. Look, look at this. He's like, all the... Look, I have to be down here to not make any contact with him. We're still side by side for lead. By the way, Mark Martin's coming into the picture as well. Let's go, buddy. Oh my god. You are not giving me any room, bud. Alright, have that run off the corner, I guess. Ah, uh, just couldn't hold the... Oh, wow, look at the run I do get on the outside lane, though. That was surprising. Because I kind of messed up that corner, and I still got to run. All right, I'm going to hit the halfway point here at New Hampshire Motor Speedway. We're halfway home. Oh my god, it don't matter how many times I want to slow down that corner, I just cannot. Wow! That was really close. Oh! Michael Waltrip and I made contact! I don't know if I he came up into me or I came down to him, but man, what a save by me. 
Michael Walter grabs the race lead as Mark Martin going for the second spot. As a matter of fact, Mark Martin to the lead. Okay, so we got the lead. Let's go. And Michael Waltrip and I are just making contact. That was a nice save by me. I honestly thought I was gone. Wow, look at the run I get. Oh! Mark Martin kind of put me in the out. What? Oh, and Dale Jer Jr. Not Jared Jr. into the wall. And he's not able to get off the wall, is he? I got squeezed into the outside wall by Dale Jarrett. And now I'm going to fall back all the way to fifth. That's okay. Let's relax. We'll get back up there, hopefully. So Mark Martin to the lead. But yeah, Dale Jarrett just did not give me any room at all coming off four. He just put me in the outside wall. Halfway on view. Technically. My goodness, these guys aren't being nice to me. Michael Walsh almost turned to me. Dale Jared put me in the wall. Jeff Gorn almost screwed me up a couple times earlier. My gosh. I don't even know where Tony Stewart's at on the track. I haven't seen him. I haven't seen him up front lately in these races. Okay, he's back there. Basically, about in the top 10. Still have to make another pit stop in this race, and my god, car turn. That's unbelievable. Oh, is Mark Martin blowing up up there? Mark Martin, the race leader, is blowing up. I see smoke coming out of the back of his car as we got 10 laps to go here in New Hampshire. 10 to go. Mark Martin, the race leader, but it looks like he's up in smoke. Michael Walsh in second, Jeff Burton third, and I'm running in the fourth spot. Here, as I got a run on Jeff Burton going for the third spot. Oh, man. But couldn't hold the corner. Mark Martin seems to still be pretty fast, though. All right, I'm going to pit next time by. Just a couple more. Everyone's still going to have to make one more pit stop in this race. All right, I'm coming down pit road. You're down on fuel. Looks like all these guys in front of me are coming down pit road as well. Four tires, full tank of fuel. Coming to eight laps to go. Final pit stop. See what happens here. Possibly come out ahead of Jeff Burton here. Wow, Dale Jarrett still stays out on the racetrack. Track's clear. Go ahead, Mark. Track's clear. Jeff Burton on the outside of me. Yeah. Uh, never mind. He got around me. Or it could. I don't know if Dale Jarrett. If Dale Jarrett has not pitted yet. Yeah, here he comes. I was about to say. It looks like Mark Martin could still be the race leader after all the cycle pit stops go through. You've got a top five spot. <sighs> I don't think I'm going to win this race, guys. I mean, I think Mark Martin's engine's fixed, too. Well, he is pulling away. Oh, man. Oh, okay, car. Get off the wall. So I'm going to be fourth. Man, after all that, I'm still going to be like ahead of uh, Dale Jarrett, Tony Stewart at the end of this race and gain more points on them. I don't know what's been going on with Tony Stewart lately. It just seems like he has a bit competitive in these races. Five laps to go this time by here in New Hampshire Motor Speedway. Mark Martin is the race leader. Michael Walter second. Jeff Burt to third, and I'm fourth. Five to go. It's 
return car, please. Jeff Burton goes up the racetrack too. And I get a good run on him and go by him for the third spot. I feel like I can get up to fourth. I mean, not fourth, uh, second. Jesus, Joseph. As we're gonna have three laps to go here. And I'm gaining on Michael Waltrip. on here. Here I go for the second spot on Michael Waltrip! Not giving me any room of going in the corner. Michael Waltrip's been doing that all race long. Has not given me any room going into the corner. It's kind of frustrating to be honest with you. Just two laps left. Yep, two to go. Golly, he's done that all race long. Every time I get beside him on the inside lane, I messed up the corner. Jeff Burton's gonna get around me. But every time I get on the inside of Michael Waltrip going into the coin, he just forces me down the apron. And I don't want to wreck him, but he just doesn't make anything easier on me. So that's his fault. Alright, white flag in the air. Final lap here in New Hampshire Motor Speedway. Fuel's down to half. One more lap. Mark Martin looking pretty good to win this race. And man, I just cannot... Hmm. That... Turn one and two has just been a bad corner for me all race long. And off turn number four, it looks like Mark Martin's gonna get the win here at New Hampshire Motor Speedway, and I'm gonna hold on to finish third. Great top five. Mm. Mm -mm. Ah, it is what it is. Oh well, I'm still gonna gain points on Dale Jarrett and Tony Stewart. Mark Martin leads the most laps in this race. Jeff Burton second. I finished third. Michael Walter fourth. Bobby Lebine fifth. Warburton sixth. Dale Knight Jr. seventh. Jeff Gordon eighth. Dale Jarrett finishes ninth. And Matt Kenson rounds out the top ten. Ricky Rudd eleventh. Tony Stewart twelfth. Sterling Marlin thirteenth. Jimmy Johnson fourteenth. Terry Lebine fifteenth. Rusty Wallace sixteenth. Bill Elliott seventeenth. And Kevin Harvick finishes eighteenth and last place. 15 minutes and 40 seconds was the time in the race. Five lap leaders. Uh, no caution flags. 120.06 miles per hour was the average race speed. 11 lead changes. And Mark Martin wins over Dale, uh, Jeff Burton by 8 tenths of a second. And uh, look at this, guys. Got a 303 point lead ahead of Dale Jarrett with 20 races left. Man, I am just gaining on the point standings. And all that. And guess what? New third place driving the points. Bobby Labonte. 318 back. Tony Sturridge has been falling, falling apart lately, to be honest with you. He falls back to fourth in points. So next race is going to be at Pocono Raceway in Long Pond, Pennsylvania. For the running of the Pennsylvania 500. Last time I was at Pocono, I won the race. So we'll see what happens there. So I will see you guys at the Tricky Triangle.